Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Karen's Kitchen. I'm coming to you today with a whole new recipe. There, Erlene, you're the very first one on today. Good to see you. I haven't talked to you this morning, but good to see you. Good afternoon, Sharon. Good afternoon, Erlene. Good to see you guys. Thank you for inviting your followers and just being here. Thank you for, for that, for just being here. Um, oh, yeah, I've, I figured you kind of were. Um, <laughs> Hi, Vanita. Good to see you. You just came in at a good time. I haven't started anything. I just came on. So, um, good good to see everybody today. Let me wash my hands real quick. I got them kind of sticky. Um, welcome to everybody coming in, and thank you for sharing this out. I'm, I'm just at the sink washing my hands for a little bit. i make sure I had clean hands before I start. Um, how's everybody's day going? It's getting a little bit better here. Where I think we're in the 40s here right now. Let me throw this away. So we're a little bit better. We're sunshiny today anyway. So hi, Melissa. Good to see you. Welcome. Thank you for coming in. Um, thank you, everybody, for coming in. Um, I've got my, my one of my the mixing bowls sitting here with stuff in it that I've done, that did the prep work on before I came in here. Um, Good to see you. Welcome. There's Cheryl. Thank you, Cheryl, for coming in. Thank you for inviting your followers. This is a, a simple recipe. There's not much to it. Um, there's what the picture looks like, if you can see it. Uh, you're having a tough day. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. We all have those days. Believe me, I have them a lot. Hi, good to see you. Welcome. Um, this is all going to be done on the stove. Now, you can do it in the oven, too, but I'm going to just put, on, put it on the stove. So i got my 10-inch skillet sitting here. Um, but th this can be done either way. But this, when I saw this recipe this morning on Pinterest, I thought, wow, a red lentil vegetable fritter. I have never done that. Now, red lentils, I cook them ahead of time, too, as well. They're sitting right here in my, st in my skillet or in my pot, three-quarters of a cup of lentils, and I use the water to cook them in. Um, about a cup and a half, I believe it was. Um, so I did. I want to do most of the prep work before I come in here because to shred the the carrots and the potato up took us a little time. Took me a while to do that. Um, and then you got to clean the shredder and everything afterwards. It, it, and I wanted to get that done, put it in this bowl, and covered it up so the potatoes wouldn't get brown. Um, yeah, they do. I <laughs> I get them all. I that seems that most of the recipes I have that I've saved, I put them on. I save them. And I have a board made up in my on my Pinterest, different boards, and I just put it in this, put this in my vegan board. I probably should for burgers, but I don't have a burger board, so I just put my vegan board. I can always move it later, make a new board, and then move it. But I like saving boards on here on my iPad. Uh, what is lentils? It is a legume. Um, this is what they are. You've heard of red lentils, green lentils, brown lentils. That's what these are. These are red lentils. They're legumes. Um, they're very, very small. They're, they're, a, they're, a pro, they're like a little bean, but they're considered legumes. Um, they're very healthy for you. I've made red lentil soup. I've made uh, red lentil spinach soup. The red lentils are very good. You can use those in place of meat. However, they usually use the brown lentils or the green ones. There's brown, green, and red. Red are very hard to find unless you go to a specialty store. Now, I got mine at Fred Meyer, so I was, so I was able to, to find them okay. But I think I'm going to get this started now. And uh, I'm going to go get a... Uh, you can see there's my... <laughs> There's my carrots and potatoes. Potatoes still want to turn brown, even though I had a, a thing, but it's going to be okay because they're you're still edible. It's just they love to turn brown when they're out in the air. Let me get a scoop here. Um, let's see. I think this one. Um, anyway, they're legumes. Okay. I hope you can see my, my bowl. I think you can see it okay. All right. I'm going to put everything in. You can, I'm going to put my lentils in here. Um, make sure I don't knock over my, my, um, my tripod. Let me get a... Uh, oh, I can go ahead and use this. This I had. Well, wait a minute. I've got one out here. There it is. This. I know they don't look red now, but they are red. I used three quarters of a cup. It's quite a bit, actually. Probably should use the bigger, bigger bowl, but I thought the meat inside one would work, work okay. I've got dishes to do, as always. <laughs> okay, now. I got to put in um, two cloves of garlic, which I, I minced them just before I came in here. Two cloves of garlic with the garlic press. I'll put those that in here. Uh, 
Okay. Um, and two medium sized potatoes raw, which I got in here. And I used two medium sized potatoes raw and one medium sized carrot that I, that I shredded up. And I'm going to have to have five tablespoons of all purpose flour. Let me get my tablespoon thing here. Five tablespoons of all purpose flour. And I'll just go ahead and use this, uh, the adjustable one. I like these tablespoons here. All right, this is like a thickening agent, a thickening it up. You know, your, your carrots and potatoes have a little moisture in them. But I didn't wring the moisture out, so I just left it alone. Three. You want a little moisture in them to hold them together. You don't want them um, really dry that they're going to fall apart. So I did not drain the water off of the um, potatoes and carrots. I don't think they have as much water holder as your zucchini would have. Zucchini has a lot of water in it. When you shred it up, um, which I do have a zucchini in there too. They said you could use zucchini in place of carrot if you wanted to, but I just I just use the recipe what it called for. I'm gonna go ahead and put this back. It's okay, Sydney. It's all right. It's okay. What Sydney? She's in here looking for something to eat. She always is. Okay, now I've got a one half teaspoon of smoked paprika. All right. Everybody knows that about smoked paprika, half a teaspoon. I'm going to use my adjustable spoon again. Okay, smoked paprika. This is almost gone to buy some more. Although I don't use this that much, but I guess I got enough in here. Okay, there we go. All right. Put that over there. And then a teaspoon of regular paprika. Oops, I get a teaspoon. Get that off of there. Okay. There's some spill it. And then uh, salt. It doesn't say a te teaspoon of marjoram. I didn't know if I had any of this or not, but I did find it. I bought this a while back, and I have used it a few times. Um, I'm not really sure what, what this spice is really, what it entails, but um, I kept, I had it on hand. I thought, well, if I got it, I'm going to use it. And it calls for salt and black pepper to taste. Well, I don't have any, um, I don't know how much salt to use, so I'm just going to have to use my better judgment, I think. I don't know where to put my salt shaker at. No, I'll just put, I'll just use this because I don't know where the other ones are. I'll just use a little bit, put a little bit in here. Um, don't want to overdo it. Because you can put it in, but you can't take it out. <laughs> oh, thank you for the super hearts. Oh, you guys are awesome. And then I want, it says you can put this with shirasha uh, mayonnaise, but I don't I don't care for sriracha sauce, so I'm not going to make this sriracha sauce. Um, you got to mix this all together. Um, you got to combine all this together. I should probably use my 12 inch skillet, but I think I'll use my 10 inch. I'm going to try to use with my fingers. Maybe this will work better with my fingers to kind of get mixed together. Shouldn't be afraid to get our hands dirty, I guess. And I'll just wash them up real quick. Oh, this got plenty of moisture in it. You want plenty of moisture in it so they'll hold together. Because if they're too dry, they're going to fall apart. Let me get this all mixed in real good. And it's this color because of the red lentils. Um, thank you to everybody for coming in. And thank you for inviting your followers. Thank you for the hearts and super hearts as well. I appreciate every bit of it. So I don't know, I'm kind of almost like kneading dough. Get your fingers in there and get it, you know, do what you have to do. Now I'm going to put a little bit of oil in my skillet. I haven't got it turned on yet. I better go ahead and turn it on. About eight and heat. And then I'll get, I'll get a little oil and put it in my skillet. Although you really don't have to with these, but I do it anyway. Um just in case, especially with potatoes and stuff. You don't want them. And I'll put the, I'll put the tripod down in just a sec. Okay. Now, I'm going to try to put this down. This When this fell the other day, it almost break, broke the thing. It don't really want to work right. I have to use both hands to flip it down. But it works. <laughs> I don't want to replace my tripod because I, I just use it for here. Okay, now it says... Um, Heat some oil in a large pan and add about a one and a half t t heaped tablespoon 
for each fritter. Well, I'm not sure what this is. This is the large, and I'm just going to go ahead and use this scoop because I think this will be this will work, and I can just flatten it out when I get. I'm going to let the oil get hot for a little bit before I before I do this, but I'm going to scoop some on here. I think this will work pretty well. You don't want to get too much. <clears throat> Oh, Sydney, she's wanting to play with me. <laughs> I'm doing this and she wants to play. I can't play right now, Sydney. You play with Buttercup. Go on, go play with her. Go find Carmen and play with her. Go on, go find Carmen. Buttercup doesn't really want to play with her, but Carmen will. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and, and get this hot. Maybe I'll turn it up a little bit and get a little hot. Let me step away from the phone for just a minute. Go out and find, come, come find Carmen. Go play with Carmen. Okay. All right. Go find Carmen. Go play. Oh, okay. Just a little hot. Might put too much oil in there, but it'll work. It'll work. I'm just going to go ahead and put these in here. Kind of flatten them down just a little bit. Uh... No, uh, they're both there. Carmen has went to sleep now, and, and Buttercup, um, yes, <laughs> I think if you mean comes in the kitchen, well, Buttercup's in here right now, but Sydney wants to wants some food. She wants me to give her some. That's what she wants, but she doesn't realize she can't have this. I'm just hoping these don't fall apart. Now, this is brand, these are, this is something I've never made before, so if it falls apart, well, I'm learning right along with you. Just going to do it like that, kind of uh, flatten them out just a little bit. They're not going to be real big fritters. You don't have to put them on a bun or bread if you don't want to, whatever. This is, like I said, this is the biggest one. Yes, they are. They most definitely are. Now, she's trying to play with Buttercup right now. She's she's putting her foot on her back. But Buttercup is an older dog, and she doesn't really want to play that much. She's not really that frisky so when it comes to 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 uh sydney wanting to play with her she kind of she kind of turns her nose up she didn't play before either the older she gets the the worse it is you know she doesn't you know she's not in a playful mood anymore so oops i haven't got this on right let me put this down there we go put this on here she's just not in a playful mood at all so she doesn't understand what she's trying to do but Carmen will actually play with her. Carmen will, will start playing. They'll chase each other around the house. So, all right. Now, hoping this gets hot enough. You can see what they, they do look different. I'm going to, I know what I'm going to do. I'll put a lid on it. Put the lid on it. I think that might help to seal in the steam. I'm going to go ahead and put these back so I don't knock these over. Okay, now I want to be careful. I need not the tripod over, so that's why I don't get real close when I come back. So put that, and as you can see, the steam is going to come out on the top of the lid because you want to keep the steam in there, and I think it'll do a lot better um, keeping the steam in. Yeah, yes, I do. Sydney, Carmen, and, and uh, Buttercup. Buttercup is the oldest one. She's the, she's the 11 year old. Come here, come here, come here, come here, Buttercup, come here, come here. Oh, she runs from me. She's running from me. Come here. Come, Buttercup. She, she knows she's not supposed to be in the kitchen, so she's running. So, uh, and Carmen's in here right now. She, you guys have had your treats. You don't get any more. Eat your dog food. Anyway, the, yeah, I've got three dogs. and <laughs> It's uh, fun trying to try to walk them, let me tell you. The well, leashes kind of get tangled up together. Uh, yeah, I don't know. They say you can have sriracha sauce, but, you know, I don't know. I really haven't decided yet. Yeah, she is. She's camera shy. You're right, Arlene. Uh, I really don't know what I'm going to have with these. I really don't know. I, I, I haven't decided. Hi, good to see you. Welcome. Good, welcome, Rita. Good to see you. Thank you for coming in. I really don't know what I'm going to have. Now these are starting to, uh, they're starting to sizzle right now. Starting to cook on the bottom. I'm going to even cook for a little bit before I flip them over. Hopefully, I was hoping and pray that they don't fall apart. I'm going to be a little disappointed if they fall apart. But taking into consideration, I've never made these before. You know, I haven't been to the dog park in years. I need to go. 
But then I'm a little leery of some of the big dogs that come there, like pit bulls and stuff. But they're supposed to keep them separated out. they got a special place for the big dogs in the back and the little dogs in front. But I'm a little afraid. Uh, yeah, bun like a burger. You're right, Jen. Bun like a burger would be great. You're right. Now, these are starting, as you can see, they're starting to cook right now. I'm going to let them go a little bit, make sure they're good and done um, before I try to flip them over. Um, I think so. I have I have not taken Buttercup um, to the park. And, you know, I took them when, when Happy was still alive, my very first dog that passed away. Um, she passed away in 2012. I took them, took there before that, before that, but I haven't taken them since because I'm afraid of what, you know, too many dogs might try to attack my dogs and I don't want that. So I'm afraid to go to the park because you, people don't have control over their dogs at times and they just let them do anything they want. And I don't want that. I don't want my dogs to be, to be bullied, to be attacked. And it, it does happen. That's the problem. I don't really have any vegan sour cream. That's the problem. I don't have any. I'm going to try to flip these over and see if I can flip them over. So I'm using the small spatula here. See if I can flip it over without it falling apart. Well, there we go. Got one turned over. Awesome. What do you know? I think that moisture in the carrot and the potatoes is holding them together. And I'm just going to put these on a plate and then I'll decide what I'm going to do with them. It's going to get, make quite a few, as you can see, there's quite a, quite a few in here, but I could probably freeze them up as well. Um, hi, good to see you. Yeah, they are looking good, aren't they? Now, they did call for red onion. Um, I didn't have red onion, so I, well, you know something? Forgot to put my onion in here. Ha! Well, I'll tell you what. I can stick my onion in, in the batter that I've got left here. I, I can't put them in the ones in there. So I have four without onion. I, I just happened to think about the onion. It's supposed to have red onion. I didn't have any red onion, so I have to use white. Now, this is an onion chopper my daughter-in-law got me last year for Christmas. I decided to use it instead of getting the other one dirty. Um, I happened, just happened to think of onion, and my goodness, I missed it. Oh, well, you know something? <laughs> it's not no harm done because I've just got a few that don't have onion. The rest will have onion. Yeah, don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, you know, it's funny that I did that. I had the onion sitting up there, and I, if, I, if I had it sitting in front of me, I wouldn't have forgot the onion, but I just happened to think, oh, it's got a red onion in it, and I didn't put the onion in here. But I didn't, hi, Missy, good to see you, and I didn't buy any, have any red onion. And I wasn't going to go to the store if I didn't have to, so I looked to make sure I had marjoram. I had everything before I needed to go, you know, and I had plenty of potatoes because I bought me a 20-pound bag of potatoes a while back, which is almost gone, by the way, because I've been eating, fixing a lot of fried potatoes and stuff. But, uh, it, now, now I've got onion in there. <laughs> now, probably, I think these are still going to hold together. Let me get a plate out. Um, let's put them on here. Put them on a regular plate. I don't like to put them on a paper plate because I think this shows up better on a regular plate. And these plates here, I got a set of my daughter-in-law one year for Christmas had given me a set of about eight of them, I think. Um, as a Christmas gift, and these are for Corel, and I love these things. I use them a lot. I think they're very pretty plates. That one's a little bit bigger than the other ones, but as you can see, they are holding together. Now, I don't know what they taste like. I'm going to let these ones that are here cool off a little bit before I, I taste it, but I'll let you know what they do taste like. Hi, Sky Blue Rain. Good to see you. Welcome. So now that i got my onion in here, now I'll have a taste of onion in it, too. Oh, that's really a little one, but that's all right. I just decided to use a large cookie scoop to put these in here. You know these cookie scoops from Pampered Chef? They're awesome when it comes to doing stuff like this. <laughs> you don't have to... Um... Hi, good to see you. Welcome. Flatten this out just a little bit. They're not exactly real round, but who cares? I'm put the lid on. Got to get them done. Here's the four, first four that I did. Hi, good to see you. Welcome. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get a fork, and I'm going to try one of these, and I'm going to see what they taste like so I can let you know. They can't be any worse than the black burger, black black burger, so I didn't like them at all. So let me try this and see. 
Not bad. Hi, good to see you. Mm. These are not bad. Not bad. You know. Mm. Wow. Mm. You can taste the potato in it. And uh, your carrot. Um, and your lentils. You can taste them all in here. That's awesome. Just going to eat one. Just to, just to find out what it's like. Mmm. Very good. Because I haven't had my lunch yet, so this is a good lunch. Mmm. They're very, very good. I think you'll like these. Mmm. That's so good. Mmm-hmm. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. So, these are what, <laughs> these are the ones, the three, as you can see. They're actually very pretty. The only thing I didn't have was red onion, so I had to put white onion in it, but I think that's okay. Um, um yeah, they, I don't, I don't uh, care for sriracha sauce, though, because it's heat, so I don't, I'm not going to use sriracha sauce. Um, Although I could probably dip it in anything I wanted to. So I'm just going to um, probably eat it like this or, you know, put a little bit of ketchup on it or vegan mayo or something. Put it on bread or whatever. It doesn't matter. You can eat it any way you want, you know. So we're gonna, I'm going to see how it's... They don't taste bad, actually. They, they taste actually... They're pretty tasty, really. Pretty tasty. They're not exactly real perfectly round, but you know they are holding together, and that's that's amazing that they are holding together. Let me step away again. You want to go out, Carmen? Here, let's go out. One, what side? One, up here. Go on. One, Sydney, go outside. Go on. Sydney's more of an inside dog than outside. She don't like to go outside, especially if it's been raining. <laughs> anyway, these things are, are actually not bad. Okay, I will tell you right now. I will, I will give you the recipe. Um, all right. Three-quarter cup of red lentils, which I had to cook ahead of time. Uh, one small red onion chopped, and I don't have a red one, so I used white. Uh, or you, I used yellow, actually, I didn't white, it was yellow. Two cloves of garlic, which I use in my garlic press for. One medium-sized potato raw, one medium-sized carrot, and I had to, I had to um, um, uh, grate those or, or, you know, make them thin. So I, I used my, uh, uh, I got a, a new, a new uh, thing that comes with my mandolin that, um, it shreds, a shredder, I couldn't think of it. Five tablespoons of all-purpose flour, one half teaspoon of smoked paprika powder, one teaspoon of regular paprika powder, one teaspoon of margarine, salt to taste, and black pepper to taste. Although I don't put the black pepper in it. But they actually, they don't look bad. They actually look pretty good. Don't they? I, I ate one. There's, there's only three here because I ate one. I wanted to try it out. I want, everybody's always asking me, how do they taste? So I thought, well, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try and I'm going to, I'm going to taste them and I'm going to see. I think I've used these down there just a little bit longer. They're not quite done enough on the other side. But um, no egg substitute. Nope, not, none whatsoever. It's got flour in it. And they're holding together. Well, I think the fact that I, I used the carrot, carrots and potatoes raw and I didn't dry them out. I just shredded them and put them in the bowl and left them there, put a lid on it, and didn't dry, didn't dry them out. Um, they have the moisture in there because you need some moisture in them, the burgers, to hold them together. If they're completely dry, they're going to fall apart. But there is no egg substitute in here or nothing. No flax egg, no nothing. And they're actually, like I said, don't they look actually really good? Look at that. I'm really pleased with the way they turned out. I really am because I didn't think they would, they would turn out very good because I thought, well, I'm going to give this a try. But... <coughs> I didn't have much hope for them, but actually they're coming out a lot better than I thought they were. You know, I thought, I didn't think they would come out this good, but they've actually come out pretty good. These could have been a little bit more done, but I think they're, they're okay. Just on three or four minutes on each side. Sorry about that. It's about a cup. She starts barking and a squirrel gets the other two barking. <laughs> I'm 
I'm going to see how many I'm going to get out of here. And these can be, you know, eating a sandwich. Usually you can eat them just like they are or whatever. They're not exactly round, but, you know, it doesn't really matter. The scoop is trying to do the best I can to try to get enough out of here. There we go. Now put the lid on. There. Hi, good to see you. Welcome. Here's my burgers that I've done so far. I ate one. Hi, Alexis. <laughs> These are the burgers I've done so far, and I ate one, and they're really good. They're very good. And if you want to know, those that just came in, you want to know what's in this burger, I will give you the recipe. A very simple recipe. The only thing that I changed up was the onion. I didn't have red onion, so I used yellow. You use what you have in the kitchen. Um, it's got three small, three three quarter cup of red lentils. What I did is I cooked those on the stove first before I came in here. One small red onion chopped, but like I said, I didn't have red onion. I used yellow. Um, two cloves of garlic, which I used my garlic press for. Hi, good to see you, Alexis. Um, thank you for sharing this out. Um, two medium sized potatoes raw and one medium sized carrot, which I shredded up. Uh, got them real fine, shredded them up. Five tablespoons of all purpose flour, one half teaspoon of smoked paprika, one teaspoon of, of regular paprika, one teaspoon of, of marjoram, which some people probably don't use that, salt to taste and black pepper to taste. I left a pe black pepper out. But that's, but these actually, don't they look good? I think anybody would be, be willing to try these. These actually taste very, very good. Really, really he healthy. Um, and you don't have to be a vegan to like these. Because you can use everything in here. Uh, I don't know. You know, I've never had the Impossible Burger. I've seen a recipe for it, and I've never tried to make it. Um, it could be maybe. I don't know what all is in the Impossible Burger. That's the thing. But this has got red lentils in it. Um, took a cup of red, uh, took some red lentils, three quarters of a cup of, red, of lentils, and I cooked them. Cooked them on the stove. And I didn't want to get my quick cooker out for three quarters of a cup, so I just put them on the stove. Now, that didn't really turn out round. Um, and then I put, you know, I think about a cup and a half of water, cooked them down, and then I, and then I, um, before I came in here, I shredded up my, ca my carrot and my potatoes. So, um, they're actually very, very good. Um, and if you want to try this recipe, I'll post it up on my vegan page. This is an actual, um, oh, <laughs> they are good, they are good, Erlene, they are Awesome, they taste, and uh, look at them, just that beautiful, uh, um, yeah, the Facebook group, um, oh, if you're not a member of my Facebook group, it's called Karen's Vegan Heaven, um, I post recipes in there, I post the one in there from, from yesterday, this morning, um, I don't always get them in there the same day, because I get, do other things, so I've got it in there this morning, so it's up there now, with the recipe, the picture, and everything, don't they, though? Yeah, I could. Um, they say you can use sriracha sauce. Well, I they, they've got the recipe for the sriracha sauce, but I don't. I don't like sriracha. It's too hot. Um, they probably would. Uh, oh, awesome! I'm glad it was. That's it. Looks good, Benita. It really did. It looked awesome. I'm glad that you that uh, it turned out good for you. You know, when you find a recipe that you really like and it turns out good, you want to you want to continue to do it. Now this one I, I will make again because the recipe was a simple recipe. I really enjoyed making it they, and it's, it's really awesome. It really is. I probably could have left those on there just a little bit longer, but I think they'll be good. They'll be okay. Um, but it's, it's awesome that, that uh, these come, these turned out as well as they did. I mean, my goodness, these are amazing. They really look good. I've got some little bit left. I could probably put a little bit more oil in there. I think I will do that. Seems to use the oil up, so I'll put a little bit more oil in there. I think it might work a little bit better. And I use olive oil. I could use coconut oil, I suppose, but okay, there. This is the 10-inch Pampered Chef skillet, by the way, if you're wondering what skillet it is. So if you don't have any of the Pampered Chef stuff and you'd like to get it, just contact Alexa. She's in here. Her, pro, her uh, link is in her profile. She's got a Facebook page as well. And um, get with her. You might, if you want to be a consultant or if you want to um, 
buy something, you want to buy it from a party, if I don't know if there's any parties going on now or not, but if you want to buy something, just let Alexis know and let her know what you'd like to buy. Um, and this is the mixing bowl. This is a set of, one of set of three from Pampered Chef. There's a medium one, a large one, and a small one. This is the medium one. Um, these are awesome. Um, they don't have lids, however, but so I wouldn't put this on there. You can use these on there. These are the uh, silicone lids, the Pampered Chef. So I put that on there when I'm taking it. Hi, good to see you. Welcome. So, um, uh, and anybody, yes, uh, uh, Alexis just said hello. So if you, anybody does not know who she is, that's, she's the one that just said hello. Um, she's the, she's the Pampered Chef consultant. She also has a, a daytime job that she goes to. And, uh, but she is trying to, to make money. Um, okay. Kirsten? Or Kristen? Okay. I will promote Kristen's party then. Um, oh, awesome, Erlene. Okay, Kristen is having a party. She's an HOTM. I think it starts this week, starting today. Um, so if you're, if you want to buy something from, from a party, then buy from Kristen. Um, and get uh, the, the link probably to her party is in Alexis's profile. Just tap on it. The catalog should be there, and you can buy anything in the catalog that you need. Um, okay, she's driving. So Alexis is driving home, so she can't talk. Um, but uh, the catalog would be there, and then you just buy from the catalog. So, um, oh, you've never had lentils? Well, you're in for a treat. If you try these, believe me, you'll like them. The, as like I said, lentils are legumes. They're basically just like a regular bean, um, very small bean. Uh, I can, in fact, I can show. Well, of course, when they when they cook, they they swell up. But I can show you what they look like. Um, see how small these are? Look at those. That's what they look like. And uh, when they when they cook, well, in fact, when I made the red lentil spinach soup, um, I um, earlier this year it turned yellow. When you cook them, like in the quick cooker, they turn yellow. And I'd never seen that done before. You wouldn't think red lentils would do that, but they did. Turned yellow. And it was a beautiful tasting soup. It was gorgeous as, as well as uh, just just wonderful tasting. And I'm really glad I, I, I found that recipe. In fact, it's in the quick cooker um, recipe guide that came with the quick cooker. So if you don't have the quick cooker, I suggest you get that too, because you're gonna love that quick cooker. It's an awesome product. That's one of my go-to ones. I love that in the blender. Um, for the two appliances, I use those quite a bit. Um, I made a, I made my cheesy potato soup the other day off camera, but I was so hungry for it. I made it for, I made it for lunch again the other day, and it's so good. Um, so, oh yes, you can make you can make lentil soup. Um, yes, lentils are absolutely. They're very, very healthy. They're very good for you. Oh, very good. I have, and I've, you probably haven't been to my Periscope for all. You may be new. I have made tacos out of, out of lentils. But I've used like the brown lentils, cook them in the cook cooker, and to make tacos. You know, put your, all kinds of your, you know, tomatoes in there or whatever you need, and avocados to make your tacos. Uh, yeah, I, I could have used the quick cooker for these three cups of, Three quarter cup of lentils, but I thought, no, it's not going to take that long to cook that small amount. A large amount, yes, but a small amount like that, I just put them on the stove, and they came out fantastic. And you can see these. <laughs> this one isn't exactly round, but this is what they look like so far, and they are holding together. It's amazing that they are holding together. It's got potatoes and carrots in there, and that does help. Plus, it's got flour. Flour is like a binder too. Uh, Yes, yes, they can. Sloppy Joes. Yes, I've made some vegan sloppy Joes or lentil sloppy Joes. Yes, they can. You're right. You're 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 very much right. I forgot about that. Yes, they can. But see how this is a little one, but uh, these are actually very very good. I tried one, and they're very tasty. Um, I didn't care for black bean burgers I made one time, but these things I can eat, and I have no problem whatsoever. But not the black bean burgers. <laughs> So I'm gonna put this up now that they're done. But here is, here they are. What do you think? Would you make these, and would you serve these to your family? I would think that you would. These are these are really good, very good tasting. Um, they're col they're not only they're they're tasty, they're colorful. They're very colorful. The only thing, like I said, I didn't have was the red lentil, so I used a yellow lentil. They are absolutely delicious. I tried one because I wanted to see what they taste like, and they taste 
marvelous. They're really good. Um, I can't remember. I think I have. I think I did it one time, Benita. I did make. I think I made some black bean brownies at one time. I think. Um, I don't care for black beans in soup. Um, I don't like black black beans per se, but I think I did try them one time. Um. Uh, no, I didn't care for those for some reason. Um. Uh, yeah, they no, they they have the shiraka sauce, and I didn't. I, I can post that on my Facebook page as to how to make that. But I, you know, I don't like heat, so I'm not using it because you have to you have to make the sriracha sauce. But you can dip these in anything that you want. You can have a cheese sauce or you know sour cream or mayo, whatever you want. Oh, you hear that racket going on? It's Carmen and, and Sydney chasing each other around the house. Uh, oh yeah, the ranch dressing. Yes, I can take any kind of ranch dressing and, and dip these in there too. Very good for that. But these are very colorful. Look at that. They came out so nice. Probably would. Probably would. So I'm going to have to figure out what I'm going to use to dip these into. Um, I know I've got some, I've got some uh, vegan, vegan, vegan. <laughs> oh, gee. The Carmen flips Sydney upside down. Um, I, I can make, I, I've got some vegan ranch dressing. Um, does it look like KFC? <laughs> Yeah, this is, I, you know, I'm really pleased with this recipe. I wasn't sure about it. I thought, well, I wonder how these are going to taste. You know, well, it's got potatoes in it. And it's got carrots in it. It's got lentils. You would, who would have ever thought lentils in a, <laughs> in a fritter, but they turned out really good. Um, um, I suppose, yeah, you would say, cause it has such protein and your lentils have a lot of protein. Uh, yeah, she is. <laughs> She's getting her they're both drinking water while Sydney's eating and Carmen's drinking water now. Um, in case you wanted to know about the the uh, the uh, granola I made yesterday, at 300, it really wasn't done like it should. So after I got off a of Periscope, I tested it and it really wasn't done. So what I did is I put I put them I put the the oven back on at 325, and when it heated up, I put them in there for 15 minutes at 325. If you didn't see what they look like, they look like they look absolutely amazing. Look at the granola from yesterday. This Doesn't this look good? And I had some this morning for breakfast. It is all done. It's very nice and crisp. It tastes absolutely wonderful. I took the picture of them this morning or yesterday on the on the uh, on my cookie sheet after I baked them at 325. I don't know why they said 300. 300 was was a little too low. I told them. I told you in the in the in the. Um, recipe that that I, I made mine at 325 after I got got off off of here I put 325 for about 15 minutes to brown them up because they weren't getting brown uh, yes um, yes this was made by a gal in Italy called Simone she comes in periscope she comes in my periscopes once in a while she made this um, yes it does yes they do although this is um this is a convection oven, and it's it's a very hot oven. And I thought, well, at 300, maybe maybe it'll do okay. But it got the top part, and I kept turning them over every 10, 15 minutes. You saw me. I got the top part done, but the bottom underneath wouldn't 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 crisp up. So I thought, I'm going to put them in there at 325. And you know that 25 extra um, temperature made a difference. 25 25 extra degrees made a big difference because it browned up nice and nice and crisp. And I ate some for breakfast this morning. Um, for a half, if you get 12 servings out of it, it says a half, a half cup servings, 268 calories. So, um, but it's, the granola is really good. But this, I can't believe that these came out as good as they did. They uh, they came out awesome. The colors of them are gorgeous. Um, and that they're very, very tasty. I tried one and they're very tasty. There's one in here that's not quite round. I'm going to try to eat that. Oh, this one here. It's not quite round. And I'm going to go ahead and eat this one. Hmm. Really good. I can't believe it. How good these are. Mmm. Very good. Nice and crisp. Nice and tasty. Because I never thought you'd put potatoes and carrots and lentils in a bur in a fritter. You know? <laughs> and I thought, wow, I said I can make these. This would be awesome. And it'd come out great. Mmm. They did. See how they held together? They all together too. 
I was, I'm always afraid to make burgers when I come on here. Mm. Yeah, can do that too. Um, hi, Crunchy Lemon Drop. Good to see you. Um, I was afraid, I'm always afraid to make burgers here in Periscope because I've made burgers before that just didn't pan out and they fell apart on me. I thought, well, I'm going to give these a whirl and we're going to see. And by goodness and by golly, they held together. And I am so happy that they did. They made quite a few, actually. Mmm. So I'll have some of these eat for a while. Mmm. I'll just put them in a container. Mm. But I think I think you'd be willing to try these. They're really, really good. You can put them on a bun with all the fixings, too. Um, bread, whatever you have. And put lettuce, tomato, whatever. Absolutely um, awesome. Now, if you have a red onion, that's what it says to use. Go ahead and use it. I didn't have it, so I used yellow. Red onion can be a little um, hard to eat sometimes because it's real, uh, I don't know, it's it's strong. Strong tasting. And I don't buy red onions that often because I don't care for them that well. But I'm fat, I love the fact that these taste really good, even with yellow onion in them. They really taste good. And I see Valerie's in here, and I forgot to say hi, Valerie. Um... Oh, oh, I'm so glad. You know, we're all going through something or other. You know, <laughs> I go through a lot. Um, and after I fell on Saturday, I didn't know how I was, go how I was going to be because when I fell, I thought I was going to hurt myself badly. I did hurt this arm a little bit. It's, it's sore, you know, and it, it starts painting me once in a while. But I, I'm, it's, it's doable and I'm okay. Um, Oh, you did awesome! Yeah, they were real good, Jen. They were really, really good. Um, I tried to make a burger out of that. You know, that, what, that was one time when I tried to make a burger with it, and it didn't work out. So I ended up making sloppy joes out of it. It came out really good. You, you know, if you don't, you don't make one thing you're trying to make and it doesn't come out, then do something else. <laughs> oh, she fell last week. You know, it's real um, hard on us that are older. You know, um, oh, anything, until you're right. Anything, lentil is delicious. You're right. Lentils are so good for you. Uh, oh, it's been killing you. What? Oh, my goodness. I'm glad that you're, it's not hurting you. Um, you know, sometimes I'll get aches and pains and I'll start hurting in places I didn't know I would ever hurt. You know, places I've never hurt before. And I wonder where it came from, you know. Sometimes I sleep on my arm wrong at night and I wake up in the morning and it and it's a little stiff and I'm going around swinging it back and forth like this trying to get trying to loosen it up, you know, because um, I sleep all kinds of positions. I don't sleep on my stomach because that's the hardest. I sleep either on my back or I sleep on, on my sides and I put my arm over my head. Well, sometimes that's not the best thing to do. So, <laughs> so I got to try to learn how to how to sleep a little bit. But once I go to sleep, I just sleep like a baby until I woke up in the morning with the phone call. But Yesterday I went to Walmart and I got Sydney a fleece blanket because she's somewhat of a Datsun. She's got dots in her. And my daughter said, well, if you get a fleece blanket, maybe she'll sleep under that. Well, she did. I put her, she went in the bed and I put the fleece blanket on her. However, I don't know how long she was under that fleece blanket because when I got up this morning, she was on the outside, laying on the outside of it. So she came out from underneath it after a while. But uh, she did like it. So she's doing pretty good. And I think they're outside right now or they finally decided to go to sleep, but they were chasing each other around. But anyway... Our weather is getting a little bit better. We're warming up a little bit at night now. We're in the 30s at night instead of uh, in the 20s. Wow, well, 20 degree weather was just a little too cold. So we were, I was about, I think it was about 33 or something when I got up this morning. So it's in the 40s right now. So I can walk them finally because it's sunshine. It's been rain and cold. So now I can finally give them their exercise, walk them. They'll feel better about that. Um, so how's everybody else's weather doing? I haven't asked you what your weather doing. Are you sunshiny? Are you rainy? Are you cold? Are you warm? I know Alexis, she's probably hot where she's at. And I know she can't she can't say because she's driving home. But those of you that, that live in the cold areas, I'm sure you're getting cold. I know uh, um, Valerie's probably warm. Um, oh, you had snow and it's summer? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Okay, well, thank you for coming in, Vanita, and you have a great day. Um, wow, you had snow in the summer? Wow, I didn't think you guys got snow in the summer. Oh, how much did you get? Because uh, I know it's kind of odd 
because you know they're in, in, in Australia, um, 50s and 60s in Arizona, but snow an hour north of us. Wow, wow, wow. You got 12 inches? Oh my goodness, Damon. Shoo, 12 inches of snow. Well, <laughs> as long as it stays there where you're at and don't come where I'm at. Um, I had a phone call from one of my Periscope friends the other day, for, last night, and, uh, no, Saturday night. Uh, those in those in here that know um, Dr. Dr. O, um, he called me, and um, he he was about 125 miles from me because he was in he was in Castle Rock, Washington. He wanted to meet up with me, but they had to leave yesterday, so they couldn't do that. But he says, "You guys ever get snow?" And I says, "Not very often." But I told him about the snow we had in February. He says, "Man, it's cold here." I says, "Yeah, we're going through a cold snap right now." So you know, him being in Alabama, he's a little warmer, and coming here it was really cold. People that aren't used to it, they don't know what to make of it. You know, of course, I lived in Hawaii uh, for about a year and a half. And I was went from a cold climate to a, a climate that's nice all year round. And then I then I leave Hawaii and come here. Then you got to deal with a little bit of cold again. But, you know, it is what it is. It's not like it was in Indiana. Indiana, it got well below zero. It wasn't uncommon to have 30, 40 mile an hour wind chill factor, minus 30 or 40. It was terrible, and the cats would be out in the shed eating, and I'd, I'd have to go out there and feed them because they, it was too cold for them to be outside, so I would put them in the shed so they would stay warmer. Well, I even hated to go out there because, like I said, you, you could, you'd freeze in just no time flat. You know, I dressed up, I bundled up, and go, went out there, and it, it wasn't uncommon for us to get a foot of snow. In fact, we did one night, got a foot of snow, woke up the next morning, and it was drifted so high we couldn't even find our corn in the field. We hadn't got it all out yet. It was still sitting there. Oh, it was terrible to have all that much snow. That was the biggest snowfall I ever remember us getting at once. But it can happen. I mean, here in February, we got tw we got 18 inches of snow. 18 inches of snow in one snowfall. And you know something here in Oregon that's very uncommon, at least for this part of Oregon, and it took a week and a half to melt off. And I was so glad when it was gone because I was tired of looking at it. I was glad when spring got here. Now we're, now we're in fall. And winter will be coming before too long, so I got to deal with that now. So, you know, it it is what it is. But I'm glad that we're having good weather today. At least it seems nice. We're nice and sunshiny. We're in the 40s. Getting, I imagine Alexis is probably pretty warm. Well, she's not as hot as she has been because it's getting colder there. But she's a lot better than we are. Although there was one morning that she was cold. She was colder than we were here in Oregon. And I couldn't believe that when I watched her periscope. And I thought, my goodness, she's colder than we are. So it's not uncommon to get cold. Because you know the weather is changing changing all over the place. It's getting colder. You know, and some places are getting hot. And other places are getting cold. You know, the sun is moving. I think the sun is moving farther away, too. And that's what the difference is. But anyway, I'm glad I could come in here and make these. Um, if you can, if you haven't seen them, this is what they are. And if you want to know what the recipe is, I'm going to post it up on my vegan Facebook page, um, and let you and let you uh, try to make them for yourself. I'm sure you'd want to make them, and you can put any kind of dipping sauce on them that you want. You can put them on a bun with all the fixings if you want to too. Um, the sun is uh, the sun is what, Damon? Um, the sun, well, our sun's out right now. Um, I don't know what you mean. <laughs> You're, you'll have to elaborate on that. But anyway. These turned out really good. They taste awesome. Um, they're actually better than I thought they were going to be. Um, I wasn't sure if they were going to hold together because I've made um, burgers before in here that just fell apart on me. I didn't like them. They wouldn't hold together for one reason or another. Um, you just said the sun. You, you said the sun is, and you put a question mark. So you didn't. You're, you know, you didn't have a complete sentence. So. <laughs> So it's so I was kind of confused, but anyway, um, I I am enjoying this weather now. We better enjoy it while we have it, because when it starts getting cold, like Erlene gets, and you can't get out in it, you know, and you're freezing cold, and you got snow to drive in or something, you're not going to like that too well, you know. Thankfully, here in Oregon, a part of Oregon, on that we don't get a lot of snow. Uh, not <laughs> bigger. Uh, no, it's going further away. If I said bigger, I meant to say it's getting further and further away from us. Um, it is getting further and further away. Um, so it's so it's actually the weather is changing quite a bit. You know, 
We're seeming to get colder now. Our summer wasn't as hot as it has been in the past, although we did have a couple hundred degree weather days. But it seemed like it's been cooler than the, this summer wasn't quite as hot as it has been in the past. So that's a sign that the weather is really changing. Really changing. I hate to see what this winter, winter is going to be like. I don't like the idea that we probably will get snow. But you know it is what it is. We get snow. I don't go out in it. I stay home because it's better safe than sorry. I don't want to get out in it and end up getting myself stranded somewhere or maybe get into an accident because that's not good either, Getting into an uh, if you get into an accident. So there's my grandson. He's had problems of hitting people. A couple times he hit somebody in the parking lot at, at his work and at a school. So you gotta be you gotta be really really careful. It's real easy to to, to rear end somebody and get too close. So I have to watch when I'm driving that I kind of stay far far enough back that I get allow myself enough time to stop. Especially if you got ice on the ground, frost because that frost you can't always see it. Because I don't know about you, but we do get black ice here. You cannot see that stuff. It's just solid. It's I hate it, but. That's what we had Saturday morning when I when I slipped and fell and was trying to put the dumpsters out on the curb because they were coming because Friday they they normally come on Friday but because Thursday was Thanksgiving there was an extra day that that they took off and I was trying to get the dumpsters out there and then I fell on uh, you know you can't see that stuff you can't see the ice you know you know it's there but you can't see it and all the one time you're up the next time you're down you know of course I could have. But between the ice and the dumpster, I may have tripped over the wheel of the dumpster, too. And started going down, and I knew it was going down, and I couldn't stop myself, and, and I just all of a sudden went. But I fell in such a way that I, I didn't hurt myself. I'm glad of that, you know, and I was able to get myself up, so I'm glad of that, too. But we have to be oh so careful, you know, especially a person my age, because our our... Our bones uh, get a lot brittle, get, and, and they, you know, they break a lot easier. Uh, my swear, yeah, you're right. I need to wear a helmet. I didn't land on my head though. I landed on my behind. No, I'm kind of on my back, but I didn't fall real hard, so that's a good thing. And I kind of braced myself, so um, kind of braced myself with this arm a little bit. So I think that's why this one got a little sore, but. I'm glad I didn't, and I was able to get up. I thought, well, how am I going to get up? Because when I get down onto something, when I get down on the ground or get down on my floor of my house, I always think, how am I going to get up? Because I had knee surgery several years ago, and I can't get on that knee too well. I thought, well, I've got to get up. There's nobody out here. I'm going to have to get up on that knee. So I got up on my knee, got up on my other knee, put myself, put my hand down. There was a flower pot there, and I just put my hand on the flower pot and pulled myself up, and I got up. You know, the Lord gave me the strength to get up because I didn't know if I was going to have the strength to get up, but I made it. Um, somebody was saying yesterday about wearing something on the outside of your shoes that got steel cleats on them. You know, that dig, and I've, I've heard of that where they kind of like dig in the snow and the ice so that you can stand up. That's a good idea, too. Now, I do, <laughs> I do have a cane. However, I hesitate using it. I'm not sure that I really want to, but there is no shame in using a cane if you have to. Because the cane is there, I've got it, and I've told myself that if I start falling, I'll have the cane. So when I start walk, when I walk the dogs now, I'm going to have to carry my cane. It's folded up, but I'm going to have to carry my cane with me in case something start, starts happening. Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> Boy, I tell you, once you're up and you start going down, you know, that's what gravity is. You know, you're up and then you're down, you know. And I figured once I got down, I wasn't, didn't have any further to fall. Oh, oh, thank you. Uh, when Once you're on the ground, you have nowhere further to fall. So I figured once I'm down here, I just sat there for a little bit. And I said, oh, I had to fall again. You know, I talked to myself, you know, and I said, I got to get up and get myself out to get myself to church. Uh, I, I know. I, I feel the same way. I'm afraid that if I start using a cane, I'll be dependent on it and I really don't need it. But it's there if I, if I need it. I've got the Hurricane. Um, you probably have seen that advertised on TV. It was a while back, and I found one at Walmart, and I bought it. And it's, it's folded up, and it's in a case. And I've used it a time or two in the backyard because my backyard is a little <laughs> unlevel, you might say. So I can't really walk in the yard unless I have a cane. That did help. But I think I might start taking it with me when I walk the dogs. Uh, that way I've got it in case something happens. If I 
can't, you know, if I'm down and I can't get up, just pick, put the cane together and get myself up on it because it should, it should keep me from falling anyway. If I have, but if I don't have it out and not together, <laughs> I can't do anything about that. But I need to start taking it with me when I drive in the car, and just in case I get out of my car and something happens and I fall. Like I said, there's no shame in having one. You know, I just don't want to depend on it. Uh, that's what I'm going to have to start doing. You know, have it in case I need it. Because I don't want to depend on it. But if I need it, I've got it there. I would rather be safe than sorry. So I'm going to have to start taking it with me and, and praying that I don't fall. If I, as long as I've got it, I'll be safe. And I'm going to start doing that now. Because at my age, at 71 years of age, my bones are getting more brittle than, than they would or a younger person. So they're going to break a lot easier. And and it's going to be hard to mend, too. And I certainly don't want to break any bones. Because there have been older people that have broken bones and they and they just didn't take, for, they took forever to heal. Or they passed away shortly after that. And I don't want that to happen to me. So I've got to make sure that I try to keep myself upright. And I don't fall down. But um, I'm an accident waiting to happen sometimes. I just stub my toe and I'm on the ground. Um, you know, I really don't know if I am or not. You know, I don't take any calcium at all. And I probably probably need to start taking calcium tablets. That might be a, might be a good idea. Start doing that. Because that you're giving me suggestions that I didn't even think about. You're probably right. I'm not taking any vitamins of any kind. Um, or bone density, density test. Or bone density test. Okay. Um, I, need to, I need to start doing something. I've got vitamins here, but I just don't take them. Um, they're probably kind of old. I don't know if they're any good anymore, anymore anyway, so I probably need to get some more. Um, my blood pressure, the last time I had my blood pressure taken, it was on the high side. A little bit high, um, a little bit higher than it should have been. Um, I do find myself, not so much now, but in the summertime, I found myself getting overheated and I started passing out. And I think the blood pressure had a lot to do with that. Um, I, do, I don't have a blood pressure tester. I'm going to have to get one. My daughter-in-law has one, so I had it taken at her house. And it was, it was up a little higher than it should be. So um, I, ha I don't like taking those things because you put that darn cuff on your arm and it feels like your arm's swelling up like a balloon and it hurts. So I, try, I, don't, I don't like taking it. I try to avoid it at, at, at all possible. Um, yeah, I know. I'm, uh, maintaining good blood pressure is really important. But like I said, I've been pretty healthy my whole life. But like I said, now that I'm getting 71, things are starting to happen. I'm, I'm losing my equilibrium at times. I'm falling down when I shouldn't be falling. Um, and, you know, it's, it's, it's terrible. But I'm going to have to start start taking my cane with me because my equilibrium, I find my equilibrium is not real good. Um, sometimes when I lay down in bed, it's not very often, but I lay down in bed and the, and the whole darn room sounds, feels like it's spinning around and around and around. Um, oh, you're on Medicaid. I, don't, I hate to take blood pressure medication. I'm not sure that that's the best to do, but to each his own. I want to try to to help myself as much as I can without to, without taking that that god awful medication that that is more harm than good, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do what I can. I'll take my cane with me. I'm gonna tr try to look for for ways to to keep myself healthy, keep myself from falling down. If even if the bike, <laughs> yeah, it's not it's not. Um, but I'm gonna have to start doing something. But I'm pretty healthy. Otherwise, I've been I've been I mean I'm able to come in here, so that's a good thing. Um, I'm pretty tired out by the time I get done. I get done here and I do the dishes. I walk the dogs. By that time, I'm pretty pretty worn out. But I'm able to come in here and do this. And I'm standing up and everything. And that's a good thing. So, But I'm going to go for in a little bit so I can eat these. And then I've got to um, get... Well, I'm going to walk my dogs and get, get my dishes done. But I'm going to hold this up as, as a final shot. So I hope you all have a blessed and, and safe day. And... Um, and until we meet again, take care, God bless, and bye-bye. Oops, I get that off.